taste buds. They come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they're coming to... All right. Time to T A S T E buds or time to welcome to welcome to it's it time to taste though it's time to taste buds time to taste buds taste buddies welcome to the show uh, we're here with a special guest a dear friend of yours yes my my dear friend Josh Nasser who is a lovely human being a comedian from the West Coast and a, a, a guy, like a one of the biggest TikTokers. TikTok, you have the most successful. I've never seen anyone that has them, as many views as you. I'll right? be honest with you. Yeah. I was waiting to jump in with the T A S T. I really want to do it because I've watched other episodes. Okay. And, and you started right out, and I missed it, and I feel like I left. We'll run that back. But we don't, do have to, we don't have to edit it here, but we're going to do it again just for we you. We can do it again. Yeah. Right. Ready? Ready? Time two. two. Wait, no, no, no. no, no, no. Wait, I'll say it you the right it way again. this time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Tasties, welcome to T-A-S-T-E, Buds. Buds. Well, uh, well you I'm know what it is, you've got to practice the spelling before. Yeah, I, gotta... <laughs> <laughs> I was so excited. Um, so, so uh, Josh, I apologize that I was unaware of your TikTok status. Yeah. But we, you have 7.5 well, you... million... It's across all of them now. I started during the pandemic. Holy crap. Uh, yeah, put, so, I mean, you were, you were TV host on television, you're a comic, but, I mean, how long have you been a comic? I did comedy for 20 years. Yeah. I was on Sons of Anarchy. I played a cop. I hosted shows for ESPN, but I was just, like, working, but making rent, but not, but making, you. you know. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, I was like, man, I'm sick of this. And I just, I put hidden cameras in my car, and I started driving up and down the same street, and just started filming. I didn't know how to edit. Um, and I would literally pull over on the side of the road with like helicopters above me because of the riots and everything and be editing. And as soon as I got 100,000 views, I'd shoot another video. And I just kept going and going and going. And now it's billions of views. Did you also just semi recently start the YouTube channel? And, and, yeah. and how many subscribers do you have? I got a one point, almost 1. 1.2 million. Jesus I did it in 10 God. months. Jesus. 1.2 million. But I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm relentless. Like yeah. it might, I was telling you before. Yeah. My mental health. This I wake up, I check the numbers. I was just editing before. Yeah. I mean, it's it's not a game. I'm in therapy, hardcore therapy because it's of a social media. It's yeah. a job. Well, the apps suck. The apps. Right. Facebook just said, hey, we owe you. Last day of the pay period. They go, oh, we got a glitch. Sorry, we, we're going to give you nine. There's a worldwide glitch. You can look it up on they're all the apps. They're not giving you the rest of the money? No, they're not giving it to you. And then you message them and they go, I'm sorry, it's our policy not to let you know what policy you broke, but here's our policies. So those are the kind of things wow. that, that happen. Yeah. That's can you can you litigate? It's I mean, it's, it's YouTube. It's, like, it's, it's Facebook. It's Facebook. But I mean, this is what we go through as creators. There's not a class action. People are talking I about it. But this is no. Sound, this is literally what's happening as we we're filming this right now. That's what's happening right now. People are like, "Yo, dude," because this happened all over the world. They just go, "We made a glitch." You just got this news. Yeah. Just and got now this you have to do this podcast. Yeah. You just lost. Yeah, like that. We were all excited. <laughs> hey, this is amazing. I made money. Oh my god. You know. Yeah. What is? What is? Uh, why is their glitch your problem? What are they saying? The glitch is they, that they, they they never they owed you that. They don't say. That's the problem. They won't say. So they just said we had a glitch. That sounds shady to me. And by the way, it's they definitely shady. By yeah. the way, they told us on the very last day of the pay period. Yeah. Oh, we we didn't know. How, is there a, 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 a right now? Is there a Facebook uprising going on by all the content creators? People are talking about it. I know Fortune magazine has done an article on it. Yahoo Finance has done an article. I mean, it's like, what am I going to do though? Like, I mean, it's. But that's that's crazy, dude. That's yeah, that's like the norm. Oh, also, right now they owe me. Jesus God. They just go. Okay. There's a, there's a, uh, there's. There's a problem. We're not sure if your identity. We need to verify your own identity. So we're going to hold your money. So the, the the moral is, you know, get billions of views. Yeah. And, uh, and then. <laughs> I don't know how we got into Jesus God, man, that's yeah, insane. Fine. That is insane. I mean, look, we're in we're in a very very dangerous time right now with um, with the corporatization of of these things, and and we're all participating in it, and then we're all at the mercy of it. Uh, so we're contributing to the monster because we're all addicted to the monster, right? But then these kinds of things happen. They all have these loopholes and these shadow shit. policies that they can, they, they, you know, they can, they can shroud everything they do and yeah, say. Yeah, you sound like the smart one. Thank you. Sometimes <laughs> they I have these loopholes and shadow policies that they can shroud everything they do. That's a very, that's a very um, smart Can sentence. I be honest? I was yeah. proud of it as it was coming out of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> Shroud. <laughs> it felt good. Shroud. Put but me what, on the top. But what, uh, what, I mean, that's the thing. It, like, like, like Netflix just did this thing where 
they came out and they said, we're, we're redefining what counts as a view. And I was like, oh, my God, that's what YouTube does, too. There's definitions of what counts as a view. Like a sustaining the, the time. Exactly. Yeah. But how funny that Netflix makes the announcement that they are making this new definition. They released the statement at midnight during the writer's strike, yeah. where a writer's strike is all about the residuals. Oh, and it's like, wow, that's shitty. And it's just like, you know, the, the, all the stuff with the streamers. It was the most watched thing in, in ever. Okay, we don't Suits. release our numbers, though. Yeah, Suits was that had 12.8 billion minutes watched. And from what I heard, I could be wrong. The writers of that residuals they got three thousand dollars. Wow. Yeah. Do you have you seen this show Suits? I've, I've been seeing it. And I thought it was a new show. It's not. Do you know no. there's nine seasons? They yeah. pulled it from the USA Network. I know about the show. I know how old it is, and I know that it was very popular. It was in an almost cult way. No, it was just a people. I had never heard of it. Not a ton of people watched it. Well, I, I'm wrong. I did nine seasons? A ton of people watched it. But my point is, is like in a mainstream sense, I don't think every, I don't think the average person I've you talk to knew, now watched people it. are watching it since it dropped on Netflix. I, I literally, I stayed up till four in the morning for the last week. I'm, I'm addicted. People love it. It's That's the what best. I was gonna say. The people that love a, it are obsessed it's with it. It's the best TV show I've ever seen. Donna, I love you. Harvey Specter. All of them. But it's a, it's a show on USA. That doesn't limit it or hinder it in any way. I'm telling you, this show is amazing. You know who loves it? Rick Glassman was talking my ear off about no it. Way. When, when he was on the show, we, we, when we walked, yeah, I don't know, we walked for a while. He, he, he was talking my ear off about how much he loves suits. And I go, my friend Roland. The, the, Roland I love the name Roland. Roland was ONA, the ONA books in Syria was the ONA booker. Um, and, uh, but he, he, uh, he was when this show was on. He was like he wouldn't shut up about so it. So these folks right here. I mean, I'm sure they had nine seasons. Look, of Meghan Markle's on it. Yes, it's the show that launched Meghan, Meghan Markle, Markle, and she's a great actress. Like great, holds her own, goes toe to toe with these heavyweight actors. So these people, nine seasons, they probably got their paycheck. But like now that it's exploding, they don't participate in the sale for to Netflix because it's exploding now. because it's exploding yeah. via streaming, and that's the problem. Wow. Um, I'm sure it'll help them in other endeavors, though. Hopefully. I That's hope so. Word. Yeah. I love your vocab. So I, when I met Josh, I, I, when, did I, when did we meet? Like, I don't know when. Like, uh, Comic-Con. We met Comic-Con yeah, but which one? Dana. But which one? San Diego. Yeah, through Dana Moon, another I'm comedian, our friend. Ago. Hi, Dana. Oh, I love Dana. Yeah, she's the best. Yeah. I like her uh, uh, social media stuff. Yeah, she does characters. Yeah, they're really funny. Elon Musk just retweeted her. No. Didn't give her credit. No! But retweeted her, one of her characters, and didn't give her credit. But isn't it... I don't know what happened. I don't know how it, it did it. But isn't it her account there from the retweet? I don't know how it was. it was. It was her face. It was her video, Elon Musk. And then she did a video. Do you think he meant? Do you think he meant well though in retweeting her? I don't know. Like he's, her, the, he's the guy. He's the main guy. He's not supposed to do I that. I mean, yeah, it was all over, but no. But it's. I, I'm trying to just do the math. I don't know if it was like ten years ago, whatever it was. Yeah. And you look similar to how you look now. But I remember the first time that you revealed to me that you had an Ed Hardy past. <laughs> I was the worst. I drove a Hummer. I had a Jaguar with spinners. I mean, this Could guy's you, complaining about money over here. No, He's no, driving no, no. Jaguars. Do, no, no, no. do, you, do you get no, no. that from wait, him? Wait, wait, wait. At the time, I wasn't doing comedy. I, this is true. I sold frozen meat door to door. I was a door to door yeah. meat salesman. Like butcher box, baby. Yeah. I sold meat door to door. But you were, weren't you like, I was like the, the best. prodigy of I it? Was, I sold Look the Keanu Reeves. Hey, how you doing, huh? Was this Look, your lady? No, this is just my friend Shishi. She was a news Look reporter. Look at the belt. If we could Look zoom in on that belt, that's those studs cow. right there. I, spray I, I almost felt like I, I was like, I thought I knew you. Yeah. But only, we all have this. And you were I, living in L.A. I was living in L.A. Only in L.A. Yeah. Can you walk around dressed like that where people will not openly <laughs> make fun of you? <laughs> you know, look, 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 look. Look at the spray tan. How oh you doing, God. huh? Is that a diamond earring in the right? I had di cubic zirconium. Cubic so I really never really had a lot of money. All the money I made from selling meat, I was spending on my Ed Hardy. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this is what the other one is a tan. There was, do you have one in there? The tan. That one's not that bad. That's that just looks like. Wow, well, the earring. Nah, the, look this at this. It. And you throw it. Look at the signs. chain. I had double chains. Oh my god, I mean, double chains! And look at that. Look at that uh, stitching in those jeans. Yeah, Laguna Beach jeans. Is that what that was? Called? That was the thing at the time. My buddy was on a show called Sunset Tan. He owned the company, and we would go to Vegas and hang out at the Palms, and that was the time, you know, nightclub. How old are you in these photos? Um, thirty. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Ed Hardy age. Oh, I was the. It was the best. Yeah. I never. I never did it. 
He the never did Dutch it. Ed Hardy type no. of thing. Me either. Or True Religion. No, I never did that. Me neither. I was never into any of it. How old are you now? 52. 52. Tomorrow. I'll be birthday tomorrow. Oh, happy birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, babe. I'm going to be with Sal on my birthday. You look amazing. That's great. Yeah, you look Right? Botox. <laughs> Juvederm, wrestling. I get facials. I really? Go, yeah. I got to talk to you about that. Oh, oh really? Yeah. You know, off camera or on camera? Uh, both. Okay. Off. Okay. <laughs> Josh, uh, so we're doing this battle today. Josh Lewin from LA. He's actually staying with me a bit, but he had to, he had to get a hotel last night. He's coming with me tonight to stay at the house where he is. And he just texted me what, uh, what happened in his hotel. And for me, it's my worst nightmare. He... Peeled off the sheets. Well, wait, wait, hold on. So when I leave a hotel, I feel bad for the house cleaner. So I completely clean everything up. I put everything in a pile. I separate and, is- and I take off the sheets. And it was a huge urine stain. Look at that picture. Not just not just a huge urine stain. That's really gross. Yeah. I will say. <laughs> no way. There's no nothing way. redeeming about nothing. this. Wait, I have a question, though. That means that, like, that wasn't cleaned. Because they would, they, they would throw that out. Maybe no. they were hiding it, but. I, 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 think they, I was going to say, I think they cleaned it, but it might still be stained. No. And they kept it like that? Look at V shaking her head. Yeah. V knows a pee stain when clean, she sees one. How do you clean uh, the uh, urine? Maybe you, maybe. <laughs> Like, I've had mattresses that over time, like, from sweating, like, they'll get those brown stains on them. I, I, I started using Pillows. mattress covers. Because yeah, of yeah. Pillows will get the stain. You use the cover, that, yeah. That, look, I'm not saying you shouldn't be horrified. That's that horrifying. That could just be a stain that is clean. No, no, no. It was, it was urine, and the whole place smelled like urine. Oh, well, then, then, you, got yeah. a, then you got pee on your hands. Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> there was cigarette burns in the pillowcase. Like, it was, I was like, hey, I'll just stay at a cheap hotel in Rathway, New Jersey. I don't know where. I didn't even know where Facebook sent you down to the slums, dude. They took that six-figure paycheck away. <laughs> kids sleeping in pee. <laughs> that, and what's crazy to me is the brightness of yellow that has, that is, that has that maintained. That is a fresh pee stain. Yeah, that's, that's fresh, bro, because over time, Pete, I don't think it looks like that. I called to the front desk, and the guy goes, yes, we know that we have this problem. We have uh, mattress pads there on order. We know that we have this problem. We know that we have this problem. We have mattress <laughs> so it's, pads. So it's not just your room? They're on order. It's, every mattress is pissed yeah. up? Yeah. Um, so I didn't want to lose my Do they shit. allow pets? The guy doesn't yeah. go, the guy doesn't go, how about we give you your money back? Sorry well, about that. This was the thing. <laughs> the problem will be resolved once so you, after you leave. I didn't want to lose my shit because, look, I just started doing social media. My social media is all happy. I'm happy guy. So I went downstairs and I was breathing in the elevator. I'm like, I'm not. You should have lost your yell. shit on I the did. mattress. I d- <laughs> wait a minute. Well, Pete, this, so this sh- is from when? Last night. Oh, but wait. You, what do you mean? You just started to? Oh, I got thrown off when you said I'm I just saying, started doing social I'm media. Like, uh, my, I'm starting to get a little bit recognized. Uh, oh, like, oh, it's like, okay. Oh, I got you. Wow, I got you. Like I got you. Guy, you know, I'm like yeah. known as nice guy. I don't want to like all of a sudden. I don't need this out on the internet. I don't need any problems. You know. All right. So I was like, let me just not create a. Let me not burn this. Place to the ground. Did you make so, a video about this? I, I no, I just took pictures. Oh, and by the man. way, it's crazy. When I woke up and I'm, or when I saw that, I, I go, I, I can't wait to show you. I thought of you. Oh, thank you. I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Not you. I go, I People I often why. think of me with excrement, <laughs> different kinds. The uh, maybe because you'd I, be salty about it. I just thought. Well, would. I I actually have a similar story. I stayed. I, le- I so stayed last, at this hotel and I pissed on the mattress. Yeah, the night two nights ago. <laughs> No, the, uh, I, I actually think I told this story on the pod, but I t- did a road trip last summer because I bought a car in L.A. and I drove it home. And I went through Utah and everybody was like, you better get a room before you get out there. And I was like, yeah, I'll be fine. And at like, I'm not even kidding, man. It was like 2 a.m. I was in Utah and I couldn't find a room anywhere. And I was like, th- th- it, it sucked. And I found this little roadside Motel. I was yep. like, whatever, this will do. I don't even try that. I just sleep in the car. And I, I was afraid to sleep in the car because I didn't know where I was. And I was like, what if, God forbid, I get murdered or something? Okay. I don't know, you know? Yeah. Soft top vehicle. I was scared, you know? Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, you're going to get murdered in Utah. No one's going to say anything either. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right? So beautiful you, you state, You have just as much chance of getting murdered in the roadside motel, but sure. Sure. Uh, you know, but yeah. I, I, I went into the room and the sheet... I can't. The sheets had blood stains on them. Uh, and they were still reddish, which means they were newer. Uh, and I put on a hoodie that I didn't care about. 
and shorts I didn't care about. And then I laid towels down on it and I slept like this. Oh. And I slept like this. And when I woke up, I threw the hoodie and shorts in the trash and I, and wow. I left. And that was it. I just I wish I could have seen that moment that you saw the blood, like that whole moment. I took videos of it you and did. I wrote I wrote a whole like if essay, I see blood story on a about sheet. it. Did you report it to like whoever you no. rented through? No, dude. This place was I mean, this yeah. you think this this place was I mean, I don't know what this looked like from the outside. This place you know, dude. No, this place from the outside was nice. It, 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 they they no, touted it as a not. business center and you had business suites and it was, you know, a no, gym. Th- no, this was not. This was like, yeah. this was like open hallway. You walk to your door. There's yes. a literal key. Yeah. Like this was Bates Motel type. It literally yeah, yeah. the way that's, the, that's laid out. Yeah, it was like that. <laughs> I see blood oh, piss on a mattress like that. <laughs> Excuse me. The next stop is the presidential suite. Well, what if you can't find the presidential suite? What do you mean? What do you mean the presidential suite? Yeah. What, is that, what does that mean? I'm you saying you go in? to it's like they're gonna upgrade me to the best thing they have immediately. They don't and have I'm gonna a check p- that to piss and blood. If there's piss and blood there, buddy, they don't have a presidential suite. I got news for you. Yeah, they don't. There's yeah, probably. A lawsuit. Don't. Yeah, I stayed in a place in uh, on the road. Uh, I was. I, w- I don't want to say the city because I don't want to blow up the club because I like the club. But I was in a hotel, and it was supposed to be like this cute rustic like historic whatever and i called my manager and i was like i when i got in the room i called him i go dude what what is this and he was like what and i go dude i swear to god if if i can't get into another room going home i'm not doing the show this is disgusting there was black mold on one of the walls there was uh pubic visible pubic yeah. hair uh-huh. uh in the like on the be- like hair on the bed there was hair on on the soap dish in the bathroom yeah like cake to that's it that's wi- that's wild there were stains everywhere I, it smelled like pee and the hotel was like oh my god we are so sorry we're so embarrassed this was a mistake the, the room wasn't clean we're so sorry and they sent me to another room and the other room was pristine and i was like what? okay <laughs> okay all right. I, like, I, I feel like a cleaning person got fired over that, probably. Right, right, right. Yeah, I've had some nightmares. I had like four or five nightmarish experiences. One time in Not Iowa, black mold on the walls, but there was like m- I had a stains. hole in one of the, a hole Sorry. in the sheetrock in one of the wall, uh, my hotels in Iowa. And I got there and it like it was carpeted and it was damp and it smelled like that m- musky smell. It's a hole in the wall and there was no other places to stay. And I was like, this is insane. So I went to like a, a CVS or whatever and I bought like a... Uh, disposable ponchos, and I just opened them up and slept on the plastic. It was terrible, and and it was a noise. You know when you turn on that like the water sometimes and it, it'll squeak, squeal or squeak, it'll go, ee- yeah. and it like, kind of stops. That was happening, and I was like, oh, I guess it's someone's taking a shower at the water. And I waited like a half hour. It didn't stop, and I called downstairs and I said, there's a noise that's like, ee- it's not stopping. I thought it was the water, and she goes, what room are you? And I told her, and she said, oh, that room does that. <laughs> So apparently we've all had this. I mean, we have, this is like the norm. I, I won't do it. One time we, yeah. when we first started out, we were in a Red Roof Inn. Like someone booked us in a Red Roof Inn and we were going in. And I was like, guys, there's a there's a Holiday Inn across the street. I, I'm hesitant about this Red Roof Inn. And they were like, nah, let's just stay here. Let's just stay here. I'm like, it was across the highway though. I was like, I'm going to cross the fucking highway right now, right? He was like, why don't we go in, check it out, and let, and then we'll decide. So we go in. I was with Q at the time. Q goes into his room, open door outside with the key, like same thing. He goes into his room. I go into my room. I look. I'm like, this is just not for me. I walk out. He's holding a crack pipe. There was a crack yeah. pipe in his room. He's holding it. It's in a cup. It's in a plastic cup. It's amazing. Yeah. We- a crack pipe. He walked yeah. in and found a crack pipe, which means someone smoked crack pipe, a crack there, right? But which also means that the, the person who cleaned the room just didn't see the crack pipe or didn't care about the crack pipe. Or just left it for the next person. Yeah. That's somebody that might be that might be a cleaning person going, I'm tired of this f-ing shit. I'm not I'm not touching a crack pipe. Yeah. I don't care if they too. fire me. Yeah. That's why I, I clean the room before I leave because I feel so bad for the housekeeper. I neaten what up. I don't I don't strip I, the bed. I, I don't want to know what's up the bed. You're opening that's what you did. You opened a can of worms there. I take the, yeah. the soap out of that I've used. I, everything's in a pile. Like they walk in because I, I do the pile. Put, I put I do the pile of my towels. And I make the bed like 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 I just put the pillows back and flatten out everything. Yeah. I make sure all my garbage is in the garbage pail. I vacuum. No, no. <laughs> I also 
back, out of back. <laughs> they don't come in once for my whole stay either. Oh, you don't let them come in? Me neither. I don't have housekeeping Me come neither. in once. So I go in ah. and I leave. I leave with minimal work for the housekeeping staff to do. And they never have to come in during the stay. I'm a pretty, I'm a pretty good hotel guest in that sense. Yeah, I do. I don't let them in either. That's interesting to know. Unless it's like a week or more long vacation, and the place is very nice. Otherwise, even then, sometimes you don't I'm let just them like, in. Oh, I don't need new sheets. Like I'm here a few days. Like you know, like I don't need anybody yeah. in here. The only thing I've ever had to re up on is like sometimes like they won't give me enough towels or something, and I'll use the same towel too. By the way, I'll, I'll use a bath towel three, four showers. I don't care. I use the You're same He's at wild home? like that. Wait, at the home? You won't do that? Huh? Wait, at yeah, home, yeah, how home. long do you use the same towel? Home or on the road. I, I'll go at least three showers, one towel. I at least. Yeah, when you're drying off, you clean. Yeah. I do too, yeah. It's so hot in here. Can we open the door without you're the You're hot? Out? Yeah, I'm very hot. I'm breezily cool right now. Yeah, well, you're, you're in... <laughs> you you want to sit? You want to switch? Not, it's hitting here, so Let's you're switch. getting like the tons Let's of switch. Fans. No, I don't want to do that to you. You're not doing anything to me. Let's switch. <laughs> We've switched before. Let's switch. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, because you're gonna be you're gonna be cooler, and then you don't have to open the door. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. You sacrifice your own comfort for mine, and that is gonna be noted, and it's not gonna be forgotten. I gotta tell you, <laughs> I already felt the change in, in crossing into this hemisphere. It's hot, right? <laughs> yeah. There was something cre something creaked up as I was walking into it. I, I was actually over there, like I might pass out. <laughs> Yeah, there is a warmth on over here. I don't know what it is. <laughs> I could open it. Oh, the secret. Is, does it ruin the magic? Is that right. door here? Is no, that no, even no, on camera? That shut. Leave that shut. If you, if you don't cool off, then open it again. Folks, let's talk about First Leaf. First Leaf is great for the summertime, the best time, summertime. Wine delivery. Yes. There's going to be something fun going on throughout the summer, okay? Pretty much every weekend, barbecues and pool parties and family events and camping trips, whatever it is. For all those occasions, I like to make sure I've got great wine at the ready, and that's why summer is actually the perfect time to join First Leaf Wine Club. This is a club where it's super easy to get personalized wine boxes delivered on schedule, whatever your schedule is. And since you get to choose the day your shipment comes, you can go out and have all your fun without worrying about missing that delivery. And they're world-class wines as well. Yes, yes. So if you want to get started with First Leaf, all you have to do is answer some quick questions about your likes and your dislikes on their website. And uh, their expert team will select a customized assortment of world-class wines based on your preferences. Yes, and every selection is backed by First Leaf's 100% satisfaction guarantee. And I will say this. They got the sparkling. They got the reds. They got nice whites. But they also have Joey Rosé. Yes, yeah. I don't yeah, know if you all know this, but Joey Rose. Joe used to drink rosé so much, his nickname was Joey Rosé. Yes, yes, that is true. Uh, I love a rosé in the summertime. I also, though, like a nice crisp red that's... It's nice and cool in the summertime. A nice Pinot or something like okay. that. Uh, anyway. I, I love this because every, yeah. anytime I need wine, it's always looking and I realize I'm out of it in the moment that I need it. So exactly. To make sure you've got great wine when you want it this summer, you got to try First Leaf. Just head over to firstleaf.com slash taste buds to sign up and you'll get your first six hand curated bottles for just $44.95. Go to, go to try firstleaf.com. Go to tryfirstleaf.com slash taste buds. That's T-R-Y-F-I-R-S-T-L-E-A-F dot com slash taste buds to get your first six bottles for under $8 a bottle and tryfirstleaf.com. That's tryfirstleaf.com slash taste buds. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit. They're ready to help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian-approved, ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You're going to save time. You're going to eat well. You're going to stay on track with the healthy lifestyle. I just ate Factor today. I had the turkey chili. It was delicious. I love Factor. You get it. You throw it in the microwave. It's already cooked. Two minutes, boom. Every meal ranges in the sort of 600-calorie range. I'd say 450 to 650 Yeah, from my experience. It's just great. Folks, you're going to get to choose from 34-plus weekly flavor-packed, dietitian-approved meals. They're ready to eat, as I said, in two minutes. If you're too busy running around during the day to think about lunch, keep your energy up with this, Lunch to Go. These are effortless, wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. No microwave even required for those. I love it. Okay. With Factor, you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice. We offset 100% of their delivery emissions, source 100% renewable electricity for our production sites and offices, and they feature sustainably sourced seafood in their meals. Head to factormeals.com slash tastebuds50 and use the code tastebuds50 to get 50% off. That's code tastebuds50 at factormeals.com slash 
taste buds five zero to get 50 percent off folks joe DeRosa here i am hitting the big open road this fall with i never promised you a rose garden the tour coming to a bunch of cities bunch of shows Excited to see you out there. September 16th, Avenal, New Jersey. September 21st through the 23rd, Toronto. Uh, September 29th through October 1st, I'll be at Skank Fest. Not doing the hour there, but I'll be there, and I hope to see you. Uh, November 11th, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Theater of the Living Arts. November 17th, Pittsburgh, PA. November 18th, Buffalo, New York. November 30th, Denver, Colorado. December 1st, Phoenix, Arizona. December 3rd, Salt Lake City. My gosh, my gosh, my gosh. We have so much going on. And this just in, October 28th, here in New York City at Arlene's Grocery, Salsa Windfall, oh. first live show in 20 years, people. Who's joining us? Well, maybe Esoteric and DJ oh 7 L of Zarface is going to be joining us. Who else is joining us? The Stumble Bums. Who else is joining us? We'll see you in hell live. It's going to be a Halloween bash. More acts are being announced. It is an event, an event, an event. October 28th, we want to see you there. And before you come, make sure you cop that new Salsa Windfall album, Artificial Birth, available on all streaming platforms now. We hope to see you, people. And I hope, I also, I also hope to see you at Joey Rose's. Oh, you sold My bar. Me. You sold me big time. And Sandwich Place down in the Lower East Side of New York. Joey Roses. JoeyRoses.com. We're open seven days a week. I'll see you there. And that's where the after party's happening on October 28th. Boom! What's up, everybody? I am on the road right now. Just announced a lot of dates for my tour. They're on sale right now. You can get tickets at SalVolcanoComedy.com. I'm coming to Bowling Green, Cincinnati, Toledo, Wilkes-Barre, Wilmington, Macon, Savannah, and Athens, Georgia. Uh, I'm coming to Peoria, Rockford, and Springfield, Illinois, Cedar Rapids, Duluth, Appleton, Rochester, Davenport, and Elkhart, Indiana. Gearing up to film my special in Chicago uh, in December. Tune in next week. I will give all the information about the special taping. But until then, SavileCountyComedy.com, and I'll see you guys on the road. All right. I appreciate Get that. Get the door. Yeah. yeah. Babe, um, we're here for a reason today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs> and that reason. Oh, you know what? Before you, did you, do you have the one of me and you did? I did, a, I did one with you. Yeah. You have it, right? Oh, fine. So I do social media. I got uh, hidden cameras in my car, and this is one that I did with Sal that I just think is amazing. Wait, yeah, I think we got to stop. It's quick. I think we got to catch the beginning. Yeah, they're only about 13 to 15. Excuse me, miss. Quick question. Who do you think is more attractive, me or my brother? I mean, I'd like to be sandwiched between the two. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Perfect answer. How many views did that get? Uh, it's probably at 100 million across all the platforms. Oh, I don't even yeah. know. You could take my 10 years of television and everything I've ever done and add it up. It's not 100 million. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty insane. That's, That's wild. crazy, dude. Yeah. You know what it is? It's like, it's so easy to share. It's like feel good, funny. Just It's like, I, I liken it to like, you know, when you uh, check out at the grocery store, you go, oh, I'm going to get that. Oh, I'm going to get that. I mean, it, it's just feel good ages eight to 80. And I yeah. edit it like that where it's just like, oh, I got to share that. I got to share that. That's yeah. like stocking stuff. I got to share that. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you hide a camera that's able to capture the other car? <clears throat> so I have um, GoPros. Right. Um, all GoPros in the car, all rigged up. And you don't have to tell that woman, hey. So um, what? Uh, everything. no one's ever said anything out of 750 videos. I think I've had four people say, hey, do you mind taking that down? And I take it down that I go, oh, it's already done. But um, most of the time I'll go, hey, I, I do social media. If you want some comedy tickets. And they go, oh, great. And here's my name. So I, I get them at the next light. Oh, but, so you, okay. So you go back to that lady. Yeah, and say, I'll see her at the next light. Oh, that's light. great, man. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's just like happy, feel good. And also, it's always yes and. I make them feel good. I never make them look worse. Right. So nobody cares. But 100 million views. Yeah, it's pretty. Exciting. 100 million views. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's so, I'll, I'll do you one better. If you put together everything I've ever done, everything I ever will do, right? Everything I've ever done, plus everything I ever will do, <laughs> plus also everything me and my family members have watched, <laughs> we won't hit 100 million views. <laughs> I don't know. I was just so lonely during the pandemic. We were talking before, I was single and lonely. I was like, 
I got to talk to people. I can't sit inside. Right, right, right. So I just would drive up and down the same street for 8, 10, 12 hours making U-turns and filming. I That's talking like, wow, to people dude. in cars or yeah, nobody would talk to people to in cars. And they didn't, they weren't like, oh, well, you know, I got to keep my window up or. No, uh-uh. I did door-to-door sales for 21 years. Did so. you have a mask yeah. on? No, uh-uh. Because you're car to car. You're yeah. safe. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I agree that you're safe, but people were like so just yeah. like, you know. I think yeah. people were like, like, hi, because people were so like this. So it was like a welcome break for them to be like, hey, yeah. okay, hey, let's I have some I drove next to someone today at a light. All the windows closed. The only person in the car driving mask on. It's. I don't know. I, don't, I mean, it's, maybe it's something else. I try to fathom that. Or, or I, I, my guess on when I see that is this is a person who's immunocompromised or still uh, wants sure, to mask sure. up, but they don't care enough to take the mask off in it's, the car, put it back I'm on. So used to wearing it. Yeah. And also they're probably thinking, well, the more I touch it, the more I'm going to get germs on it and whatever. Yeah. Or maybe that person was doing like light surgery to someone not vis- visible to me. <laughs> right. Sal, I yes, don't really yes. think that the person was doing light surgery. That's not well, we never know. Never know. You think the we'll guy did never surgery. Know. We'll never know. For we'll God. Maybe, maybe not doing surgery illegally and had to make a quick getaway. Yeah. What do you think about illegal surgery? I think illegal surgery is illegal. Yeah. I got to be honest. There's yeah. a reason it's not Did you ever go get a legal surgery? No, but I played an illegal surgeon on television. That was my whole Better yes, Call Saul yes. role was illegal That's surgery. That's so funny. I yeah. played a doctor That's on television. Perfect. <laughs> that is perfect casting. You look like an illegal surgeon. Thank you. Thank you. You know? You definitely do like illegal like, uh, organ transplants. What was that like? Say that you- on your channel. Maybe I get a spinoff. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred million views. Babe, what was it like when you got, you auditioned, right? It was, it was it any callbacks? I'm sure. No, there was no callback. Whoa, you got it out of the gate? I did an audition. It was the longest audition I ever did, meaning it was 30 minutes. Right. Oh, with the tape? It was the tape? No, no, no. I, I went in. Okay. But we sat there. It was the, only, it was the longest audition I've ever been in where, where the, the casting director was repeatedly like, I want you to do it again like this. I want you to do it again like this. How many lines did you have? Was it like paragraphs? It was a full scene. But she was like... She had me do it so many times. I swear to God, I left being like, I didn't. I, I, but I why would back. you got it? That, that has to be a good sign, though. No, I learned that it was. Yeah, but she yeah. had me do it so many times. At one point, not when I left, before I left. At one point in my head, I was like, uh, How bad do I suck at this? Right. I don't right, understand. Right, right. Like, what am I doing wrong here? And then at the end of it, she goes, "You can take a note." And I was like, "Oh, that that was good." That. Okay. Wow. Do you know why they do that? And then she was, I remember she goes, uh, she goes, uh, I go, I looked at her wall, like we, we were getting along, and I looked at her wall, and, and I realized she was casting Gotham. It was before the Gotham show came okay. out. And I was so excited about Gotham. Yeah. And I was like, you're casting Gotham? And she's like, yes. You didn't see any of this. And I was <laughs> like, okay, I won't. I, won't. Yeah. She, I was like, is it cool? And she's like, it's going it's to be cool. What was the call like? And I'll ask you the same. <laughs> Because you were on the Sons of Anarchy for a, it, you, it was one, it two was years. Mo- two years yeah and you were on for so, small- so I, the call when I got it yeah th- this is what happened yeah <laughs> this is so crazy I was headlining at um, Flappers mm-hmm. in Burbank Bro- in Broad Ripple oh, that's Crackers Crackers yeah yeah, yeah <laughs> that's what I always said Crackers I was ha- headlining it that weekend at Flappers in Burbank and. It was this. I was out in the lobby in between the two shows on Saturday, and I was waiting to do the second show. Mm-hmm. And this guy came up, and I had Pat Walsh with me. Mm-hmm. He came to the show, and he had already gone in to to have a drink or or to sit down. I mean, and I was standing out in the bar area, and this guy came up to me, and I didn't know him. And he goes, "Hey, Joe." And I go, "Hey, man, what's up?" And he goes, "My name's Tom." I go, "Hey, Tom." He delivered it in person. I go. He goes. He goes. I go, what's going on? And he goes, he goes, uh, I work for Better Call Saul. And I go, or he goes, he goes, I'm an EP on Better Call Saul. We, we, I, you know. And I go, hi. And he goes, we loved your audition. And I go, he was just randomly in the audience. No, he was coming to see me. Wow. He's coming to watch the show. Oh. And I was like, wait, you came, you're coming to the show? And he's like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so to further watch you? Or? No, he just was like, yeah, I'm coming to the show. And he goes, you were great. You're gonna get the part. You're either going to get that part or another part. You didn't hear that from me, but you're going to get one of the two parts. Wow. What, what did you? What did you? What did you say? What's your response? I just was like, Jesus, dude. I don't. I don't know what to say. Like, I, like, and he was like, I was like, that's. Oh my God. Well, uh, c- can I get you anything? Like, you know. Right, like, right, right. And he's like, No, dude. No. You have a good show. I'm here to hang out. I'm How was the show? Killer. 
And you killed? I went up to Pat and I go, I need you to come with me right now. And I brought him back to the green room and I go, I'm freaking out right now. That was the guy from, I'm not supposed to even talk that I auditioned, but I have to tell somebody. And I told him and he's like, dude, that's fucking great. Mazel, like have a good time. And I had a killer show. And, uh, and then, but I didn't hear anything still. Oh, wow. And then the next, like the next week. Yeah. My friend Kat was doing makeup on the show. And she texted me and goes, I can't wait to see you in New Mexico. And then I called my manager and I was like, I, I, I got it. I have it. I think I have it. Right. And, uh, and my manager, and then my agent called me and she's like, you did get it. That, your friend wasn't supposed to say that to you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but she did. Um, but anyway, um, yeah, that's, that's how I found out. Yeah. Yeah, what, it was crazy. about you? It's amazing that you remember exactly where you were. I was actually in the chiropractor's wild. office. Really? I was in the chiropractor's office, and I just left, still like in the little waiting room. And then I sat down, and I'm like, by the way, this was just a reoccurring. I think I had like a couple lines here or there, like here's your paperwork. But I was like, I made it. <laughs> right, 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 oh, right. my God, right? I made it. You know, but it's, that show was already a huge hit when I went on it. Right, so right. season six and seven, and I just sat down there. I was like, yo, this is, wow. Like, how many people move to L.A. or wherever and never get a, one chance? Dude, yeah. you, it's, it's, it's an incredible thing, man, and it's, that is how you feel. You're just yeah. like, wow. Then do you shit your pants before the scene starts? Like, I, I can't be the one to F this up? My very first scene, I was on the side of a mountain. It was a night shoot. They had, like, a fake moon, like, to provide light right, and everything, okay. and I was in the whole <laughs> cop outfit. And there was a car like flipped over thing and and the action and I and I and I just forgot my line. Oh, <laughs> the very right first scene, right Kurt Sutter was there, and then oh, I go, right, let's do it again. Geez. And then I, I then from then on, I was like, oh, but I was nervous. I mean, you know, yeah. and my line was it was like five words. That's that's the thing too. It's like when it's like that, and you're like, I can't mess this up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and you get in your head even more. Yeah, you yeah. know, and uh, yeah, it's, it's insane. Oh, I, but but his by the way, Tom Tom Schnells. Shouts out to Tom. The, Tom was. Uh, I don't know if I said his name in the story, but that was the guy that came. And Tommy. He was, he was uh, yeah, an EP on the show, and uh, and it was, yeah. Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to take away from your story. No. That's great. I'll, I'll, yeah, it's I'll always remember. I remember yeah. the, the, the crate, my favorite moment ever in my whole career, ever, between, definitely as far as acting goes. Uh, I haven't done a ton, but I've got to do a lot of cool stuff, and I'm very lucky, uh, but... Uh, the the coolest thing was the second time I was there, not the first time. Jonathan Banks took me aside and goes, "Oh, he's off." Awesome. And he goes, uh, "He goes, you want to run lines? You want to go rehearse?" Oh. And I'm like, "Yeah." And we went into his trailer and we hung out. Oh. And he goes, "He goes, I want to tell you something, man." He goes, "You're good. So if you need another take today, you ask for it. Don't get." scared man because i know how this is dude i know that this is like a new thing for you that's so cool to it do was that. so cool wow it was so cool in a beautiful moment oh god i'm gonna get teary if i say this yeah. i'm gonna try not to the last t the last time i saw him was the last time i you know he didn't die or anything <laughs> i don't mean like that just mean the last time i saw him when i was there was the last time i was shooting we went out and had, got dinner the night before i had to shoot and I go, listen, man, I don't know when I'm going to see you again because I don't live in L.A. anymore, and this is it. This is the last season. I don't know if I'll be back. And I said, uh, and I go, I go, but I go, I just want you to know, I learned more. Uh, I learned more uh, standing across from you as an actor than I ever learned in a class. And wow. He, that he, like, he, like, got teary. It was a beautiful fight. Wow. It was like a really, really nice. That's so cool. And I meant it because I'd said it to yeah. everybody. So many people had said, what's it like? What's it like? And I would always say, I've learned more standing across from that guy than I could have ever learned in any class. Like, I go. What did you, what did you like? What is, like, give me an example of something you gleaned from him that like, is it, is it just, just observing him change nuance or like, did he do, did, did they, does he do every take differently or is it like, what, what did you know? Like, he looked like. He, he taught me like the importance of confidence, mm -hmm. not arrogance. Those are two different things. Right. Uh, he taught like when they go acting's all in the eyes. He's a guy. I got it finally with him. I was like, oh, that's what they mean when they say that. Okay. Because the guy it was like a fucking statue. He doesn't move. Right, 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 right. At least in that character, I mean. Right. He he like wouldn't move, and 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 you were like. Almost like physically backing away from him and during the scenes because he's like so intense. Wow, 
And um, and and then also too, just just professional, like one thousand percent professional. He told me a story once where he said a, a director said, "I want you to cry in this take." He goes, "If that happens, it'll happen. I'm not going to make that." Ha-. I was like, "That's oh, like that's a real actor, wow. man. Wow. That's a guy that's like I'm in it, right. and this is I'm going to give you the truth." I just learned. I, I just Could you learned. Imagine the director's like, "I need you to do something." Like, I'm, I'm like uh, maybe, maybe. yeah, but he's the one on screen. <laughs> yeah. So if it's not authentic, people are going to notice. You yeah. know. Yeah, he just was like, I'm not going to make that. I'm not going to wow. force it in that direction. If it comes out that way, then great. And, and but he was, but he was like, uh, just also too, like you, you know, dude. I, I studied theater in college, and 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 uh, I've, I've I've done enough TV at this point that I'm like, you meet a lot of, and just even on auditions, right? It's a hammy thing. Yeah. Like acting can be very hammy. Yeah, yeah, and. You know, just just standing across, and not to say that I didn't learn with the other people I worked with there too, but I worked with him the most, and and he really resonated with me, and he just was like, um, he didn't, um, he just, he just gave it what it needed. That was it. There was never more. There was never. It was never yeah, about him. He was able to. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, right. he's like a guy in a. This is a guy he's sixty uh, years in the business yeah, or whatever yeah. it is, and he he knows like this is not about me. This is about a scene. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's cool, man. That's awesome. It's why, like, in the... And I'll shut up after this, because I want to talk to you. Sorry. <laughs> but it's no, why... I'm liking it. I admire De Niro. What would St. Peter uh, ask you when you go to the pearly gates? <laughs> <laughs> but it's what I admired so much about De Niro. You know what I did? You know that? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Actually, yeah. yeah. It's what I admired so much about De Niro and the Irishman. W- was I was watching him, and I was like... This guy is the biggest actor that has ever lived, and he is doing a movie where every other actor is pushing him around. And he knows that's what this character is about. It is not about him getting to get his De Niro time on screen. Did you like it? I loved it. I think it's a masterpiece. Uh, I remember watching it and liking it. Uh, I liked it, but... uh... I love it. I love really, it. I, that's it. That's not amazing. I could use like, another watch with that. It was like ah, but I, I you know what? I'm I wanted young. You know, like you know that's I wanted what you were taught. The opposite of what you're talking about. I wanted De Niro to be De Niro. Yeah. You know. I you guess know, the old school me. Talk, you know. He, P- Pesci talked about in the behind the scenes. He yeah. goes. He goes. Marty. He calls him Marty. I yeah. don't. I never met the guy. <laughs> <laughs> but he's like Marty. Just kept keeping like yeah. suppressing my. He was like you're you never flinch. And he talks about the scene when Pacino's screaming at him at the ball. And he's like, he said he was going to Scorsese in between takes. He's like, come on. Like, I wouldn't, this guy's giving it to me. And he's like, that's not who this guy is. You don't flinch. You never show your hand or whatever. So Pesci was talking about how it was such a different experience for him. Because oh, we're well, all waiting watch for Pesci to fly off the handle yeah. right. and do Pesci shit. Yeah. They said they added, I went, I went to a, an early screening and we got to do the Q&A with the writer, which was awesome. He said they added the scene where Pesci walks in covered in blood because the character is so reserved and almost benevolent throughout the movie. He goes, we needed something sure. to show you that he's dangerous. Okay. So he's a. We just added this scene where he walks in covered in blood, and you realize this guy's like. I gotta give another watch. You know something else I've been meaning to watch again? Copland. You remember Copland? One of the best movies of all time. Wait, who was in it? Was that? It was everybody. Yeah, it was that was everybody was in it, right? It was like was Sylvester Bruce, Stallone. Was Sylvester Stallone, Bruce Willis well, was in it. No, 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 no it's no? Um, De Niro. I remember Sylvester Stallone. It's Stallone. Was in it. Yeah. Leota. Stallone. Yeah. De Niro. Leota. Keitel. Yep. More than that, though. Um, Michael Rappaport. But dude, Josh. When you said the reason you're disappointed in Irishman because you weren't getting, yeah, the qu- the want to see the, the violence, stereoty- stereoty- yeah. whatever. Copland, you are getting De Niro, <laughs> everybody, like the most hammy, awesome De Niro, like he's doing all the like all yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, blah! like he's yeah, yelling all yeah. that. Leota plays a cokehead. <laughs> he's off the meter through the whole movie. Rappaport is totally like you guys are crazy, but like like that I kind love of him. Kaitel is is like bit, 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 like yelling Kaitel. They are all so them through. Like Garofalo is great. Like everybody in this thing, 
You got to watch Copland, dude. That Sal, movie is Sal, awesome. I have, no, I have no recollection of it. Sal, I'm awesome going to watch, watch this we'll do for it. my birthday. Yeah, we'll watch it. We'll watch it tomorrow. Yeah. You guys should. I just do it, it like is... Seinfeld. I go for my birthday. I want to watch it, it for my birthday. It is such a fun oh, watch. Sure. Wait, I know we got a battle, but yeah. shit, I wanted to hear more. I talked so much about my dumb thing. You, th- What was your thing with Sons of Anarchy like that? You know, uh, what was your big moment where you were like, wow, this is really like this was a cha- game changer for me? Honestly, when I went in, they, they, they wanted the cop to be kind of a jerk, you know, like a real, a real bad person. Yeah. This is kind of deep. I just thought of my stepfather. <laughs> oh, wow. Because I, I, at that time, I still had so much anger for so him. So you have him to thank for your yeah. success. And I, I'm silly. I'm goofy. Like, you see me on stage, I'm goofy. Yeah. But I was like, I just did that. And after the time, oh, by the way, it was great. When I walked in, the guy running the camera was a comic. He just happened to do casting. And I was like, hey, Chris, hey. And I completely yeah. forgot because I get real nervous before. Right, right, right. Like I wanted to, Before I did this podcast, I wanted to kill myself. That's great. Right. <laughs> before anything, before I go on stage, I want to kill myself. And then I'm yeah. fine. Yeah, but the guy and so I auditioned and uh, and afterwards uh, the cast director goes, "Wow, you're really good at being mean." And I'm like, "Thanks." Like you know what I mean? Like I was well, yeah, just yeah. that's great. Um, I actually just just remembered this second. It's four it was four lines or something like that. But I I did an audition for the Irishman. You did? And I, yeah, and I believe the scene was not in the, end up not being in the movie. Was there a scene where a guy pissed his pants? No, he was a like a a, a guy. A, a, he, I was in. This, it was De Niro and and this guy. And De Niro's kind of thre- like threatening him, and he scares him so bad that when he's talking to him, he pisses his pants. No, I would. Yeah. I wish that scene wasn't it. That would. Be I great. went in for that, and I was like, "All right, look, I don't know, you know." Uh, did you ever take acting classes or anything? No, no, no. And I, so I just went in, and I think I did my hair, and I wore certain clothes to kind of match what I thought it would be. And I went in, and I'm like, look, it's, it's, it, is, it is what it is. It's three or four lines. I don't really care, but I was still nervous. And then I, uh, I had them memorized, and I had, like, you know, the different ways I was going to approach it or whatever. And I went in there, and there's this woman that cast all his movies. It was the woman that cast all his movies. Whatever her name is, she's a sweet lady. Wow. And um, the first take, I, I was doing it. I got to a place where I was really confident at how I was rehearsing it. And then, of course, the first take was terrible. It was yeah. terrible. And then, you know, we did another take and another take. And then she's talking to me and she comes on. She's just talking to me now. She's like, now she comes in front of the camera and she's just like, oh, yeah, no, because yeah, we knew someone in common. And then she was asking about a couple of things. And, and I told her in, on the show Jokers, I had to piss my pants for real in a scene. Mm-hmm. And so we were like talking about that. And then in the middle of talking about it, she was like, ask me a question about that. And then she just went, bah! and she just she just started with the lines. Like she was right in my face and we, in the middle of talking to me. I was like, that's great. Yeah. And then I just like, and I just was like, uh, 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 and then I did the, I did the lines, but it was probably terrible. That's great though. That's wild that that's, I love hearing about how directors audition actors. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause like, like, I think what, all right. Folks, game time. I love game time. Why? Because I hate planning months in advance or even weeks in advance for events I may be able to go to. My schedule changes so much. I like to go at the last minute. And when you go at the last minute, you don't want it to be stressful. So buying tickets for your favorite events is made very easy through game time. It's an easy way to get those tickets affordably, the best deals possible, right up until the day of the event for sports, comedy, music, whatever it is you want to go to. Uh, they've got images of seat views. And again, lowest price guarantee, event cancellation Super protection. Super quick, couple of taps. Job loss protection, a yeah. couple taps, yes. It's great, it's great. Oh, and one other thing, the tickets are sent directly to your phone, so you're not digging through emails when you get up in line, which I've done a million times. And if you find a more affordable ticket in the same row and same section you're in, Game Time will refund you 100, or credit you, excuse me, Game Time will credit you 100 and 10% of the difference. So, snag the tickets without the stress with Game Time. Download, Download the, the Game, Game Time, Time app. app. Create, create an, an account. account. Use, use code TasteBuds for $20, for $20 off your first purchase. purchase. Terms, Terms apply. apply. Again, Again create, create an, an account, account and redeem code TasteBuds for $20, for $20 off. off. Download Game, Game Time today. Last, Last minute, minute tickets, lowest, lowest price guaranteed. guaranteed. TasteBuds is sponsored by BetterHelp. I love BetterHelp. I'm a user of BetterHelp. I'm proud that they are one of the sponsors on this podcast. Sometimes in life, you're faced with tough choices. We all are. And the path forward isn't always clear. Sometimes the problem itself can become the roadblock. And getting to the solution for that problem 
starts to become a very, very convoluted process. And it could be whether you're dealing with decisions based uh, around your career or, or regarding your relationships or anything else, whatever it is. My point is, is therapy can really help you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. That's why I like BetterHelp. Uh, I have benefited greatly from therapy in my life, and I find that when I'm not in the practice of utilizing it, uh, again, the problems become insurmountable and the solutions become elusive. When I'm in therapy, I got a clear lens over the eyes, I see things for what they are, I'm able to approach them with the clear mindset that I need. BetterHelp helps me with that. If you're thinking of trying therapy, starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. I'm telling you, it's entirely online, it's designed to be convenient, it's flexible, and it's suited to your schedule. You fill out a brief questionnaire, you get matched with a, uh, a licensed therapist, and you can switch therapists at any time at no additional charge. That's really, really good, trust me. Uh, anyway, let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash tastebuds today and get 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash tastebuds. Woody Allen had some, has, oh no, it was Larry David, has like a thing where like if you audition for Curb, they're, they're like, you're going to walk in the room and you're going to be a waiter and you're going to try to serve Larry food or whatever. Like it's something very weird. Yeah, he's in that room because Adam yeah. Ray, I talked to, we know a few people have been on it, yeah. but Adam Ray, uh, he told me he, he didn't, he had to run his lines with, he got to run his lines with Larry. And then we know a handful of people on there, but I, that's like the golden. I think Santino, same thing. He ran his lines. Uh, Sklar Brothers were on there. I'm just trying to think, but I mean that for me is the Who's pinnacle. Santino on it? I didn't see him on there. Uh, he was on in one of the more recent seasons. Oh no! Yeah, oh, that's right. No, yeah, yeah, Maybe yeah. The Cup of Joe thing. Or now something. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Santino what? is a a dope actor. He's yeah, great. I'm telling you, like I can't wait till the world sees his genius. He's like yeah. Christoph Waltz when he he delivers the lines. I love him. Yeah, I was with him all weekend in Austin. We hung out all weekend. That dude is, and we were breaking balls. Oh, I love and that he, kid. I he, wish he lived on the East Coast. He did. He, this is this is true. We're we're in, we're in a hotel one day, <laughs> and we're hanging out in the pool the pool table room, and a guy came in and said, "Guys, this is um, we have this reserved for a wedding, reception, so have fun, whatever. But we'll just need you to clear out when we say the word." And Andrew goes, "Okay, it's just me and Andrew and his buddy," and he, Andrew goes, "Okay, no problem." And he goes, "By the way." Love your stuff. You're really funny, man. To Andrew. And then he turned to me and he goes, thanks for being cool. And he walked out. And I go, I mean, it kind of hurts that he recognized you, doesn't recognize me. And Andrew goes, I'm more famous than you. What, what, are, you, what are you confused about, right? And he starts doing this thing. And I go, can you stop? Just stop? And he goes, what? Do you not like the truth? Like, And he's, dude, he's really going into it. And I go, I don't like this bit at all that we're doing right now. <laughs> And I go, can I tell you something? And he started laughing. And I go, can I tell you something? I go, you're too good of an actor to do bits that are that mean yeah. <laughs> because it's way too real. I was like, it just gets, whether it's true or not, it just it gets hurts. too it hurts. real. Yeah. And he's like, all right, all right. I know, it's always fun on his pod or, or when he comes on our pod because it's so fun going back and forth with him. He's the yeah. best. Yeah. He's the best. And heart of gold. Yeah. Heart yeah. of gold. Mm, there you go. If you if you if you're watching, and we know that you are, Santini. Santini, the great Santini. All right, we All gotta right. get to this battle. All right, it's a breakfast battle. Uh, you came in hot saying you hate pancakes. I hate pancakes. This is pretty crazy. No, it's, it's not insane. It's, I can back it up. Honestly, I, I don't. I think you're the first person I've ever met that doesn't like pancakes. I mean, I argued against pancakes versus I think it was waffles in this because there are things I don't like about pancakes, but I don't hate pancakes. What don't you like about pancakes? Well, I mean, sometimes it just feels like a whole lot of the same exact thing. It's just bread. Let's wait, wait, wait. Let's do the chant. Ready? Right. Time two. B A T T L E buds. You missed that one too. I missed it again. Yeah. Wait. You're saying pancakes are just bread? Is that what it's you just? It's just bread, and then you put syrup on it, and it's the same thing. Bite after bite I mean, after bite. I've had some pancakes that changed my life too, though. I'm no, I haven't. I got news they, for you, yes. pal. What? Because. The niceties are gone now. Now we're in the battle. <laughs> I got news for you, pal. Any food you eat is the same thing, bite after bite. That's how food works. <laughs> Eggs Benedict's the same thing, bite after bite, Yeah, too. but it's bland. Uh, it's okay, a lot wait, of wait, the that's same a very thing. good yeah. point. Because you eat a stack of it. Oh, yeah. There's not many things you eat a stack of. Yeah. I mean, you, you got could, some you balls you coming You can play that here. either way. You can play that either way. It's like, 
I don't think I like to eat a stack of the same food, but then why is it served as a stack? Because people want that much of it. No, it's because they're cheap and they're trying to rip you off. That's no, why. No, 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 no. When you get pancake, there's a reason why when you go to a breakfast place, pancakes are a barometer food. They're a barometer food. Meaning you, you taste them and you know how, how good the rest of the place is? People will, no, people will say, how are the pancakes? Oh my God, dude. Okay. Trust me. So they know because what they're doing. Because people that make them wrong, they suck. And people, they, it's, we talked about Seinfeld a lot last episode. It's his line on Seinfeld when they bring their own syrup to the diner. Yeah. And Kramer goes, pancakes were excellent yeah. today. Like, it is a food where you go, these guys know the pan. They trust me, dude. Get the. There's a diner. I think it's called Sunshine Diner. It's right near my apartment. I Prove forget. it. They have pancakes. Uh, Nick Simmons, son of the great Gene Simmons of Kiss, <laughs> who's a dear friend of mine. Nick, not Gene. Never met Gene. No Nick. Anyway, Nick. <laughs> Nick's a big Wait. comedy fan. We're good friends. He likes the podcast. Okay. Anyway, what? Yeah. He he texted me for three weeks <laughs> going, did you go get those pancakes yet? <laughs> and I finally went and I, I texted him. I go, dude, I, I, my mind is blown. This is one of the best things I've ever had I, in my I'll life. I'll tell you right now, I know the best pancakes I've ever had, bar none, immediately. Where? It was at a place that's now called Shuka. I think it's down by Prince and 6th Avenue or something like that. It was called 100 Acres at the time, and they did a fantastic brunch. And uh, they did a orange zest ricotta pancake that was fluffy <sighs> yeah. and moist, and they topped it with fresh whipped cream and strawberries. And it was so good that I... Ask the staff. I would go there all the time with them, and I asked the staff to ask them, the chef, to give me the recipe. And he did, but he gave it to me in the portions of what they make for the restaurant. And I was never able to – I gave it to my lady there, who's a great cook, and I was never – she was never able to really recreate exactly – you know what I mean? You'd have to make it so many times, but – I dream about them because they changed to a different restaurant. Now I can never have I them I can again. tell you something. Side note, you're not going to change my mind about pancakes, but I think pancakes are one of the only food that actually can be ordered as a side and a main course. That's a great observation. But you're not going to change my that mind. Is, that is a yeah, good name observation. Name another food. Now. You go to IHOP, eggs. you get a side. You can get a side of side eggs of with your eggs. pancakes or a side of pancakes with your eggs. No, you can't it's get a switch. side. You cannot get a side of eggs with your pancakes. Brother, I did it. I did it in Austin not four mornings ago. I, got I ordered. Egg. I got pancakes for breakfast. But eggs feels like you an just addition, got two, two main not courses. A side. No, I didn't. I said. I said. I want. I want a side of eggs. I don't want a whole egg entree. She goes. You want one egg? I go. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, All it right. feels more like an yeah. addition to the plate to me than a side. Yeah, you went off book. That's not. They, they did Santino something special. Just texted me. No what is way. going on? That's it. Up is down. Left is right. <laughs> what is going on? What does he say? Hold on. Please let it be something mean. No, oh, no, he's asking me something about something else. Well, that wasn't. That but was, was a hard. That felt. was titillating. It was a hard felt. Yeah, <laughs> it was a hard felt. But wait, you pan, you're right. But wait, can I say a negative about both these foods? Cool. Both what, these foods. Mean, wait, we, we only talk about the, the one. The egg Benedict is what you're defending. No, I'm defending pancakes. Oh, pancakes. Right. I'm defending That's, the eggs Benedict. Yeah, yeah. Eggs Benedict. Right, 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 right. You I'll like the eggs Benedict. You don't it. like the pancakes. I'll Got say. It. A, I'll say a negative about both foods. These are both foods. Where if you don't get them right off the grill, you, you, you got problems. Yeah, yeah. They got a sh both these foods have a shelf life. Pancakes will just become dry and cold and crumbly and shitty. And Eggs Benedict, it is not long before that turns into a, like a hockey puck. Yeah, but pancakes get, uh, get worse quicker. You can leave the Benedict for a, a longer. That's, that's, that's absolutely wrong. You think that you can leave I don't Benedict? Know about that. I think that that's absolutely wrong. No, because well, I, well I, have you I put can't you tell you. the butter and syrups on it already? No, I'm just talking pancakes. No, well, butter and syrup on it. The clock is really ticking. Okay, but I'm saying I have. Look at that. Look at that's what Benedict looked like most of the time. It goes to that plasticky look so fast I, that you're like, what happened? Yeah, but it makes me feel rich when I eat it. Every time I eat eggs because Benedict, it's in I the feel name like, is it in the name? Just, everything is it like makes saying, me feel wealthy. Is it like saying like uh, like Duck LaRange or Clem's Casino? All or, of it and more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of it and more. I think that that point is a problem with your life. Yeah. And not applicable as a... I mean, you're driving up and down the street by yourself. You're sleeping <laughs> in piss. I'm not surprised. I'm eggs are, are, are making in, you feel like a rich I'm man. I'm sleeping in urine. <laughs> it's not piss. It's urine. It's a higher class of piss. <laughs> what an asshole. 
I sleep in urine. I, I, I will say something about the eggs Benedict, okay? I go eggs Florentine. I can't stand the Benedict. By the way, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what it what is, is either. It? What's an eggs Florentine? I do I've eggs heard Florentine, of it my whole no life. hollandaise. It's, it's just, it's just uh, a poached egg on an English muffin top with some steamed spinach or sautéed spinach. And and they do the hollandaise, but I don't want the hollandaise. Why don't you want and the hollandaise? And, I, and also, uh, I might, might, I might, I might, might, might put in a piece of little bacon on there. But I don't like hollandaise. Hollandaise is horrific. I've I've never eaten hollandaise. I've, I've said no hollandaise. They brought it with hollandaise. I have to send it back. It's not good for you. It's, hollandaise. It's disgusting. Here's what it I don't curdles. like about it's 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 it's, it's too thick and rich. Yeah. It, it dominates the whole plate. Here's what I don't like about hollandaise sauce. It looks it's like name. it's going to taste like six other sauces that it doesn't taste like. I see hollandaise sauce. It's a yellow I think it's going to taste like sausage gravy. It doesn't. I see it. I think it's going to taste like a sweet cream, almost like a Cinnabon flavor. It, it, it doesn't. It, it and doesn't. you know what? I think it's going to taste like mayonnaise. It doesn't. Like, <laughs> I don't know what the hell it's going to taste like. Take a look at it, though. It doesn't look good. Does hollandaise sauce live anywhere except on the Benedict? That's a good question, my friend. Yes, it does. Where it does. does it I've live? seen it poured on asparagus at, in restaurants. Yeah, I've may, seen okay. like I've seen like like asparagus I've or broccoli that. in there. I've seen that, but I don't a know. fancy restaurant, right? Yeah. I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, it's a fancy restaurant. <laughs> I would say a place that thinks it's fancy, but maybe it's a little no, no. not fancy. No, yeah, no, I no. Think, but yeah, holiday? I'd say a schmancier spot. Is yeah, that's try. why I like the Benedict. Hollandaise sauce is a classic creamy sauce. I don't like creamy sauces. I love creamy. sauces. I don't sauces. care what we're talking about. Eggs, pasta, whatever. Hello, can I see what it is? Uh, what it I is? like a creamy sauce on a chicken. But that's about it. Just it just takes five minutes in a blender. But what is it? It's like, isn't it like... Jump to pimp. Click jump. Go back. Click where it says jump to recipe. Right at the top. Okay. Uh, okay, so you got three egg yolks. Yeah. Some lemon juice. Not too bad so far. Some Dijon mustard. Okay. Quarter tablespoon of salt. Can you scroll up? Cayenne pepper. What? Half a cup of unsalted well, butter. Well, that doesn't make any sense at all. Why? Well... First of all, also, let me tell you're you. putting egg on top of egg. That's what I just was about to say. That just blew me away. Yeah. I don't know if I re realize that egg, the holidays is made of egg. And you're putting three egg yolks over two other eggs. But look how many ingredients are in there. With pancakes, Did you, you know got a pan and a cake, and that's eggs, it. That's eggs all on eggs have. feels wrong. It feels no, great. Dude, pancakes no. made right are a little more complicated than you think, dude. You're dealing with baking soda, baking flour. Or powder. You're dealing with a, with a flour. Yeah. You're dealing with sometimes a cinnamon, some vanilla extract, and a chef who has to put it together, which means it's done by a professional. Pancakes, you can do it. You can do it. No, I'm saying everything. I just have you ever tried to make pancakes? It is no walk in the park. Uh <laughs> I mean, all right, can we clip it? Clip it. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I, was, I meant it with all my heart. <laughs> I know. Do you know? I just I want your face. I wanted a meme. I just want to put it out with no context into the world. Have you ever tried to make pancakes? <laughs> it's no walk in the park. <laughs> I have, I mean it. I have said things to pancakes my are stove easy. Pancakes are easy to make, bro. That I have not said to my worst enemy when I'm making it's pancakes. It's harder to make an Eggs Benedict than it is to make pancakes. I'm not saying to it's... To poach an egg? I'm not saying it's not harder to do no, an Eggs serious. Benedict. You, I'm saying pancakes, you got... It's I a make, frustrating I make pancakes excursion. and I don't cook. So I'm not You're on the same page. pancakes. Did you forget? But I'm still... I'm still... Uh, I'm he still vacillates. Honest. He goes You're back and dude, forth. I'm telling you, dude, with pancakes, if you don't have the right, like, evenly heated grill top, if... W dude, you flip it too early, it doesn't have the right amount of baking... I forget which one makes it rise properly, soda or flour, but whatever. You don't have enough of that in there. It can be very frustrating. One side gets burnt, the other side doesn't. You ever flip a pancake and it doesn't work? And you're that's why I'm Uncle Buck when he's going, I get that it's giant. You should see the but toast that couldn't even yeah. get through the door. But he's going, This is where the men are separated yeah. from the boys. Cause flipping a pancake is nerve wracking. Yeah, man. okay, I get it's that. Nerve but I will say, you know what though? Pancakes, and I don't like to I don't really cook, I don't but I do pancakes are fun to make. I love where you okay. pour it in. And you try to get like, you know, you don't want the circles to touch each other yep. and you want to make them the perfect like thickness, not too thin. I like the way they look. I like flipping them. The process of making pancakes, I love. But can I can I register one more gripe with the Benedict? <laughs> <laughs> I I'm I don't love Canadian bacon. Oh, I love it's Canadian some bacon. Ass 
ham. Canadian style and bacon. It bacon. It's just like Canadian. It's like three words. It's Canadian like style bacon. Grilled ham on there. It's amazing. So I can't go with you on that. To me, ham is always king over bacon. But I like and I ham. Love, I, I, Ham and cheese is one of my two favorite sandwiches. I don't care that they're calling ham Canadian bacon. I like that I'm getting ham with my eggs. I don't like ham it. and eggs is a is a classic. It's too greasy between the cream and nah, the greasy. Bacon is way greasier, I think. Uh, the texture of Canadian way, bacon. No, why they? I'm sorry, not to go off top. Why do they call it Canadian bacon as opposed to just bacon? I think it is cured a bit differently. It also only Canadian bacon only health, comes. Yeah. In disc form for some reason. So I'll just say it as free health care. That was his joke What's to that? me. He goes, the bacon has free health care. Oh, I'm sorry. That is no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, no, don't worry about <laughs> But I am asking, have you ever seen Canadian bacon outside of disc no, form? No, and this is what I'm saying. It feels <laughs> just like a big scam. Like, And what does is, what is the Canadian bacon look like before it's sliced? It just looks like bologna? So how is that bacon? It's magical. Oh, is a pig Canadian? How? What's... Type of meat. The two kinds of bacon come from different parts of the animal. Canadian bacon comes from the back, while American bacon comes from the belly. Therefore, Canadian and American bacon have different textures and fat contents. Canadian bacon is a lean cut, while American bacon is fatter. So the ba- you're eating a pig back. By the way, side note, Canadian bacon, is that what's used on an Egg McMuffin? It is, and that's why I don't get it. But I, I still I feel like they an wait, egg but wait, the, 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 if I actually do, I'm not trying to make a story about McDonald's. I would like to go to the McDonald's site. I don't think it's described as Canadian bacon. With on it's McDonald's. not, but we know what it is. And I'll say another thing. If that just told me, Pimp, though. That just told me the difference between the two. Why is it called Canadian? Uh, Why is it called Canadian? I assume that it is a slightly different cut of ham, and it's cured a bit differently. But why is it called Canadian? I'm, su- I'm assuming it's a Canadian thing that they do. But do you see how much more well, interesting maybe... this conversation is than pancakes? No. There it is. <laughs> no, there it is. I don't. <laughs> Product was first shipped, imported from Toronto to New York City. Okay. So Toronto bacon doesn't have the same ring to it. I think Toronto bacon has a nice ring, though. Toronto Not the same bacon? ring. Canadian Toronto bacon. Ba- Canadian. Some, it, almost has a, it almost has bacon rhymes. on Can- that thing. Ca- Canadian. Canadian yeah, yeah. bacon. Hey Sal, better yeah. Yeah. tomorrow. Do you mind if you and I go out and get some Toronto bacon? I'll get, do you, can you buy it in the store? Oh, go get some Toronto. I feel bacon. like only only diners have access. No, to No, I've it. seen Canadian bacon, but it's like these products, these breakfast meats. It's it becomes weird because you got your grilling sausage in one section, you got your breakfast sausage in another. Right. You got your hot dogs over here, but your bologna's over there. Yeah. You got this bacon here, Preach. but I feel like Canadian bacon might be in with where the ham is. Like, yeah. it, with, but the dinner ham, not the lunch meat ham. Yeah. It's it's so basically this is wild. The yeah. process, to big processed meats to the industry. Uh, these are some viable com- gripes that you have here. They're if not you're gripes. Listening, it's just it's just hard to find it all. That's all. You know, like. You could easily go into a store and go, they don't have one of those things, and they yeah. do have it. You just weren't looking in the right place. I feel like hollandaise sauce is like chicken throw up or something. There is a vomity look to it. It's weird to liquefy the egg and then pour it over the solid egg. It's like anything it's else. So like, bad what if you put you. chicken in a blender you just and get liquefy light it and then pour sauce. it over your chicken? It's just so damn bad for you. It put it is. on the side. Why not put it on the side? You got a side but of, a, of eggs, was, get a side of hollandaise. I thought it was going to say way worse, though. It was just eggs. It was like eggs, salt, and like mustard. And no, dude, it was eggs, butter. Oh, butter. Lemon. But it's so funny because those yeah. things you're naming, like butter, lemon, and salt, I'm like, yes, give me all of it. I don't know what happens in there between. I'm when you telling put you, I am telling you what it is about hollandaise sauce that, uh, that I believe you don't. Well, there's also lemon injected into that, which is an odd addition. Lemon and egg don't go. I don't together, like the American. lemon. I got to be honest with you. I don't want to cross boundaries, but I do not like mm-hmm. the lemon in there. What? That's why I get the hollandaise on the side, and I only dip it in, or I dip the fork, and then I cut. And yeah, then but I that's eat the it. way to do it anyway. You can't smother it. But that's you have to get it. You have to order it. Like what that. made your? What make? What makes? This is what I want from you though, right now, because we haven't gotten it. What makes? What the hell is it? Eggs Benedict, your favorite breakfast. You said this is your favorite breakfast food. I think two things. I think one, I like the salt content, and then also it makes me feel rich. It makes me feel <laughs> like. Well, what would you order at a country club? Oh, yeah, I feel rich. Right, right, right. That's eggs, why. Eggs is the bottom an, an English muffin? Bottom's an English muffin, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it's butter. And, but See, that I like to feel... Like Rockefeller. I That's like, a good one. Yes, That's a kind of like I like that. to feel disgusting Benedict, after yeah. I eat. I like to feel like yeah. a glutton after see, I eat. See, this is... 
This is up yeah. there with Oysters Rockefeller, where I've never seen it in a truly fancy restaurant. <laughs> I've only seen it in restaurants that are you think might be fancy, but they're not really. By the way, I don't even know what Oysters Rockefeller is. I it's was going like along with oysters you because I felt with bad. like bacon Baked, and yeah. I think oh. cheese and stuff. Just baked, like kind of. Yeah, okay. fancy. Anything yeah. that's fancy, I like. But I do have that addictive. Like I work out at the gym and I I eat. Hor- I had. I had McDonald's last night before the gym today. Well, it got mentioned. <laughs> yeah, I did. McDonald's. But I ordered it it's with amazing. no bun. I ordered the Big Mac with no bun. Okay. So and I feel what they, how do they give it to you? They what? literally brought a uh, like a little plastic tray, and it was all the ingredients. No pickles, because I don't like pickles. And then It no wasn't bun. a lettuce bun? Nope, no, nothing. You just nothing. got beef stacked? I just said I didn't want a bun. I thought it was going to be lettuce, and it ended up just being the meat and the cheese and all okay. that stuff. They give you a knife and fork? No. I ate it in my... Be- oh. I ate it in the urine bed. Oh. I ate it in the urine bed. I just realized that I was sitting. The only sitting, thing that would be more disgusting if that was a hollandaise I stain. was sitting right on the urine with a towel eating McDonald's. <laughs> yeah. I'll say one, one parting thing about the Eggs Benedict. Oh, the hollandaise, I should say. I, I don't like mayo. I only can have mayo on, an, on a ham and cheese sandwich, and it's got to be moderate. And that's it. And I feel like hollandaise is like mayo's cousin. What are you going to be on a BLT? Do you get mayo? No. You're so boring. You're so boring. How can you get a BLT with no mayo? That's all. That's literally the fun part of the BLT. I have the BLT, no mayo. That's bat shit. Oh, I do. That's a good act out. Yeah. That's bat shit. Why? That's bat shit. I don't need mayo. Thank you. That's crazy. Thank you. I know you don't need it, but a BLT. It's delicious without it. I get the juice from the tomato. No, you, it's not about the juice. It's the, the BLT me, it's hinges the juice. on the mayo. It's like. You need you need it the moistening of that toast. I don't like anything that you slather. You don't have to besides slather Besides butter. I tell them I tell them light on the mayo. You don't have to get a, a it doesn't I don't like if it's dripping out. But it When adds, I see it on a burger, oh my god. Who eats it on a burger? You? Yeah. That's not. That's I'm not, telling that's you. Bad. Do you eat it on a burger? Mayo on a burger? Mayo I, on a burger? I do sometimes. You, a light, Maybe. little bit of light mayo on it? Mayo and ketchup, but then you're masking it. I, Wendy's, I don't do that Wendy's mix. introduced me to the mayo on the burger, and I, I like it. It's amazing. No. The ba- do you like the Baconator, the Wendy's Baconator? Of course. Oh, it's the best thing of in the course world. Of course I do. And you feel like a glutton after you eat it. It's the same thing with Eggs Benedict. I'm telling you. Well, I think that uh, it's safe to say, just if I'm a, b- a betting man, I could say because pancakes are a domin- dominant force in breakfast foods, I think that it's going to... Win handily over Eggs Benedict. We're going to go to the uh, the phones really, really quick, Pimp. Really, really quick. Let's see what these people are saying today. Children eat pancakes. Adults eat Egg Bennies. I'll tell you one thing. I don't like when they call them Bennies. I don't like. I hate that. That takes the, 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 the prestige out of it. I An hate, Egg Benny? Yeah. I hate the statement so much of adults do this, children yeah. do that. I hate that. I don't know why it bothers me so much. Coming in strong here, Eggs Benedict is the best breakfast there is. Pancakes are good, but just fluffy bread. Whoa. Yes. Anyone who chooses pancakes over Eggs Benedict just has never had breakfast in any restaurant besides a Denny's type place. Oh, stop it. Eggs Benedict are the most most geriatric food choice. No, because you can't have it as geriatric. It's too much sodium. I love me some pancakes, but an Eggs Benedict makes me feel a bit more sophisticated. Whoa. I'm telling you, I'm right in line with this. I mean... I've done research. I've done research. This is what this is what trashy people think is fancy. You're trash. First of all, (laughs) I only sleep in the finest urine beds. Okay, (laughs) so don't call me trash. Uh, In the grand jizz of it all, (laughs) pancakes have less variety than Benedicts. You can make them seafood, meat, veggie, anything. Oh, there's a lot of variety of pancakes. Yeah, but let's see what Jack says. This is like no, there's not a lot of variety of pancakes. Dad's drunk cousin. You just add things to it. Pancakes all day. I don't. I, maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was going to be like a, a pretty dominant win, but God, let's go man. to the phones Thanks here. Benedict let's go to the uh, humble lot. pie. Drum roll, Pimpy, roll out that pie chart here. It's Six thousand votes. He's going pancakes. Oh, uh, you know what? Honestly, Eggs Benedict probably did a little better than I even thought it was going to. Yeah. Uh, well, given the comments, I thought we were going to lose. Yeah, I thought it was going to be closer, actually. You're right. Pancakes uh, takes the win, 70.9% to 29.1% to Eggs Benedict. I uh, I liked the conversation, though. I enjoyed about it very the foods. much. I did. I, I, we had a pleasant dialogue about both foods, and I uh, my takeaway was that I, I really enjoyed it. I'm overly excited that I had people agree with me. I feel I feel vindicated. Yeah. I feel happy. Like, But weirdly. It like, wasn't a blowout. Yeah, but I, I feel all right. Yeah. I feel like I, ha- I, I have some brethren out there that I can go to a country club and eat and feel 
richer than I am. We should try to we should try to put together a battle that we think will be a hundred percent to zero percent and see if we can get it. You ever hear of a Google thwack? No. It's when you Google two words together and there's no results. I know what one side of that battle is. I don't want to say it right now. Okay. But I want us to make a note of it. Okay. Because I'm almost positive I know what one side of that battle okay. is. Okay. Okay. Babe, uh, plug anything you need to plug. Right to the folks. I'll be at the Hollywood Improv headlining in the lab on August 30th. And then the weekend before, I don't know when this drops, I'll be in San Diego with Ismo at uh, the American Comedy Company. And then just Josh Nasser, N-A-S-A-R, across all platforms. Yeah, it's, I think it's dropped to 24th, I think. Yep. So, so I'll be there. That's good in time yep. for that. I'll be in San Diego. And we just re upped on the Taste Buds merch. This is the last time we were re upping. So, if you never got Taste Buds merch, get it now because once this so sells out, we are moving away. You never get this shirt again. I get compliments on this shirt all the time, by the way. I know. I got to get one. I don't have one. You don't have this shirt? No. What's wrong with you? I don't know. I don't have it. I don't know why I don't have it. I, I, it's odd behavior. I also didn't. I don't think I took. I took the socks, but I don't know if I took any t-shirt merch because i felt weird walking around with a t-shirt yeah. on of my uh, myself yeah but the this socks is just, you can push down just, and they just kind of yeah, but not for, it's silly silly yeah. goose stuff and thank you by the way for wearing one of my merch oh my i forgot merch. to tell you i went to tone bell what about, shout out to tone bell happy birthday buddy i went to tone bell's birthday party in austin on happy saturday birthday, night tone. dude i got so many compliments on this shirt really people were like yo that shirt's good man that's a cool shirt. Oh man! Yeah, it's got awesome. tons of compliments. Oh, cool! I yeah, just, yeah. Tons. All right, makes me feel good. Yeah, tons. it looked good in it. Quick Thank question: you. Is that that shirts. too at SalvoCanoComedy.com? Get all that merch. Is that the same shirt that you wore that night? Mm -hmm. Did you wash it? Yes. Okay. Yes, I did. I did a load of laundry before I left Austin, staying with my buddy Guillaume. Shouts out to Guillaume. <laughs> I'm not above wearing a t-shirt if I don't sweat and I've only worn a small amount of time I fold that right back up I keep it on top of the dresser not back in but I know that's there for another quick use if I need it this had to be washed it was 107 degrees every day that I was there yeah. it was crazy uh, anyway people love the shirt absolutely well uh, yeah so I still no you we, yeah yeah we still love you buddy you say now I love you too I love you too <laughs> Taste buds, they come into the mic, talking about the food they hate, talking about the food they like. Two fools gonna fight, but only one food can be right. Taste buds, man, yeah, they come into.